everyone. Welcome to the Diet Doc Life Mastery Podcast. I'm Dr. Corey Probst here with Dr. Joe Klimzeski. Welcome to the second part of the No Fat Gain Thanksgiving. Dun, dun, dun. Joe, let's talk about how we can do that. Let's math it up. Okay. Well, it's going to be a little bit different um, <laughs> because you have an option to not gain body fat by just starving yourself, not eating, not enjoying that Thanksgiving meal. But I don't That's think fun. many people do that. No matter how, <laughs> how we try, no matter how we prepare people, I know after every holiday, I'm going to spend the next week communicating with my clients how to yeah. get back on track, you know, holding hands, saying it's not that bad, you'll be fine, we'll get through this. And I want to prepare people ahead of time to enjoy mm -hmm. that, but at least have a game plan. Sounds good. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. So for this one, I did prepare a little PowerPoint. So I'm going <laughs> to do a screen share. I hope this works with both of us on here. And for those of you listening, we'll, we'll try and uh, give it an audible nature there, here. There it is. You and your PowerPoints and your spreadsheets. I, what, what can I say? <laughs> Everything in life should be done with a spreadsheet. A 5,000 calorie Thanksgiving. That's the without goal. Without gaining body fat. Yes. 5,000 so calories. So is this 5,000 calories thing. just in the meal? Yes. Well, there's a couple meals because who eats just one meal on Thanksgiving? Well, so here's what happens for me, typically. I eat one meal, but I have a couple plates. Okay. And then I designate myself as the turkey deboner. <laughs> that sounded terrible. <laughs> yeah, we're going to just skip right over that. We might edit that one out. <laughs> and then I end up eating probably four more ounces. So I'm probably eating about 10 ounces of turkey. Well, I'm going to show you how to eat 5,000 calories worth of, well, actually, I didn't, I didn't factor in that much protein, but <laughs> the math That's my favorite working. part, so. It'll, it'll actually go in your favor. And this is all about me, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I did. I, I, I thought about you and I'm going through here. How can we get Corey to eat more than broccoli and salad on Thanksgiving? <laughs> okay. So, this you is have awesome. to I'm excited. This is an entire week process, and I'm making a couple of assumptions. The first one is that most people that we're working with are in some kind of a weight loss or weight maintenance plan, so they're eating a little healthy and probably even gearing up toward Thanksgiving. So I'm making the assumption we're all in a slight calorie deficit. So this, this particular episode is going to land too late toward Thanksgiving for you to start the whole week this way, but <laughs> let's... Let's look at stored carbohydrates in the body. So we store glucose as glycogen, mm -hmm. and women can store about an average of 400 grams, men 550 to 600, but there's kind of a range from a really depleted level to a maximally saturated glycogen status in the body. So and we store those carbs in the liver and the muscle. Right. So, and men so, have, typically have more muscle than women exactly. do. Exactly. Yeah, they have so larger livers. Yeah. Some people probably do. It depends <laughs> how much tequila you drink. Uh, that, that hypertrophy is the liver. That on the menu? Yeah. So, uh, so, so keep these things in mind that you have these maximally saturated levels that you could reach, but mm -hmm. we're going to be a little bit in a deficit. So I'm counting that we're in a moderate deficit and uh, I'm factoring in about 150 to 250 grams of depletion for women. So let's say average of 200, men mm -hmm. about 275. So let's say that you have that much storage capacity, as you said, Corey, in your liver and muscle tissue for mm -hmm. stored carbohydrates. So, so that's already money in the bank. That's storage capacity that's not being utilized that we can stuff full of pumpkin pie. Okay? <laughs> okay, or broccoli. Okay. So we're already up. If you look at the scoreboard, here's, here's the glycogen depletion level, level four, for just that, that initial, mm. before we even hit the day of Thanksgiving. Mm. And from where mm. we are in that moderately depleted state to maximum storage, we really have about 350 grams of carbs for women, 500 grams of carbs for men. That's a, that's a pretty good meal, right? Yeah, That's I don't eat carbs. that ever in an entire day. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> but when we eat too much carbohydrate too fast, we are going to convert some of that to fat. Mm -hmm. So you have to play the long game for a holiday like Thanksgiving. Mm. Okay. So you got to think about the whole week leading up, and then you got to think about the couple days after because you're going to need to mitigate some over storage. But mm -hmm. this, this is going to be better than you think. So now let's talk about that potential fat loss. If we've been in a calorie deficit leading up to Thanksgiving, so let's say three or four days in very light effort. So women losing about a half a pound, men losing about three quarters of a pound. Mm -hmm. If we count that body fat as actual fat restorage capacity, mm -hmm. now women have, besides that glycogen or carbohydrate buffer, now we have about 1,750 calories that we've, we've banked for women, 26, 25 for men. So this is looking pretty good, right? I'm liking it, yeah. You're, you're, you're saving up some good calories day for me. and carbs. Yep. So if we convert that stored fat or body fat that we've lost into what we could store as new body fat, that's about 195 grams of fat. That's a lot of pecan pie, a lot of gravy, oh a lot of butter. 290 grams of fat for men. So this is going to be an amazing Thanksgiving, right? <laughs> think, think, think of how I much we can do. I just need a bucket of lard, though. <laughs> okay. but, but you can if you do it right. <laughs> so then, like, who doesn't do a pre-Thanksgiving dinner 5K? I know that probably, probably a quite a few people. <laughs> I know that was kind of rhetorical. I want, <laughs> I want people to go out there, support your local charities. Ours in Evansville is for the goodwill. And, and I do this almost every year. I try to get all of my kids to do this with me this year. And so far I've been turned down by everybody. It was pretty cold when I lived there with you and we did that. Yeah. Pretty darn cold. I don't really have an excuse not to do anything in San Diego, but... I'm, I'm, I might, I have to do this. I'm going to bundle up, go do it because this gives you an extra bonus depletion. You're already carb depleted. And so if you go out there and run this 5k with any effort whatsoever, that's an extra 350 calories for women, 450 calories for men. That is way more dessert you can eat on Thanksgiving. That's a lot. So let's, uh, let's tally this up so far. Mm. If, if we, if we factor those calories in as extra carbs, and we even cut it in half. See, I'm, I'm such a fair, moderate. <laughs> I, I want to be very fair with this. So I know we're going to have a little pre-run snack and probably a post-run you know, yeah. uh, refilling uh, meal. And so mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're going we're gonna to cut that in half and say that we're only gaining about 50 grams of carbs for men, 75 for women. So that leaves our entire Thanksgiving meal energy bank like this. Women would have 400 grams of carbs that they've saved up in 195 grams of fat. For men, 575 grams of carbs, 290 grams of fat. So just because you were in a moderate calorie depletion all week long and you lost a little bit of body fat, half a pound to three quarters, you're in a, in a uh, carbohydrate depleted state, just very mm -hmm. moderate, 50% of a normal level, but we've got that compensation level uh, kind of bonus saturation we can hit. Then you did, did that little 5k or some workout, you know, just, just get up, go do a workout, something like that. So this is what we're looking at going into the day. So would you be happy knowing this is what you have to quote spend on your Thanksgiving meal? I'm not happy because I can't eat any turkey. <laughs> okay. I, well, I left the protein normal. I didn't want to, I didn't want to complicate things by throwing the protein in there. I'm assuming, I'm, I'm assuming a normal level of protein. I'm going to use some of the fat for, for a turkey. Okay. No, no. To answer your question, that looks awesome. And it looks awesome. Okay. And I'm not going to eat that much food. But it's, knowing that I could. Yeah, you don't have to. So let's get into the day. Let's say that you, like me, you're going to wake up, you're going to do this 5K. So I have a little pre-workout snack, which is like a half a serving of protein, half a serving of carbs. I'm going to come back and the, the meal is not going to be for a couple hours. So I'm going to have maybe a serving and a half of protein, mm -hmm. still stick to only about a half a serving of carbs, if any, maybe none. That way you can keep that glycogen storage level even more depleted. But then what I'm going to plan on is a main meal, mm -hmm. which would be two times your normal size of a meal. And, and when you see 
how I factor these out. It's way more than two times. It's probably like three to four times. But then, <laughs> then I assume people are going to go back for seconds. At some point, you're going to have seconds. Another two times the normal plate of food. Well, we've got almost 5,000 calories to spend here. We've got we to gotta get busy. But some people may not stop at two rounds. So just for good measure, let's throw Work in a round. through the pain. <laughs> round three. Yeah, I mean, some, you do. You just have to work through the pain if you want to you wanna win. So I know last year watching my kids, almost every Eight. hour on the hour, they were going back into the kitchen because there were so many desserts and so many things you just couldn't eat at once. So it was like, like just having a, a pile driving force through your, your stomach just to get that stuff down there. So they, Clearly, they have, Joe, the skills that I taught your children when I was living there at Thanksgiving time did not transfer once I was gone. They, they are long gone. <laughs> I, 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 I will tell you, <laughs> once in a while, somebody does bring that up just for a good laugh. Just for a laugh, yeah. Hey. Well, it was, it was Linnea who was like, Mrs. Mrs. Probst with half of the food still left on her plate and everyone else is done. I'm so full. Yeah. It's, it, it's always like, Hey, remember that time when Mrs. <laughs> made us put our forks down between every bite? How, like, how, how inefficient is that? We've got, we've got food to eat here. <laughs> we can't let it go to waste. No. Look how much work mom put into this. Eat through the pain, eat through the pain. Okay. <laughs> So we've got the scoreboard. We know what we've got going in that we can use. Mm -hmm. And now we have to decide how we're going to fix our plates for each meal. What, what are we going to choose? How are we going to space this out? Because like I said, there's a speed to which your body can digest food and assimilate it. So too much carbohydrate at once is, is going to get uh, stored as fat. There's, it's a little bit of a controversy. There's some new research coming out that I might dabble into in a second. But when you, when you have enough food in one meal, presumably you're going to mm -hmm. have protein, you're certainly going to have enough carbs, any dietary fat that you consume just gets converted to fat. So we have to factor that in. Yeah. So like I said, if you're going to take this job seriously and you're going <laughs> to eat like I'm telling you to eat, four to 5,000 calories, you do have to consider this as a week-long process and you will convert some of this to body fats, but it's factored into your week so that you end out, you, you end up ahead. Okay. And I know, Corey, I see your wheels spinning right now. You're thinking, wait a second. I don't want to gain any body fat that day that I have to worry nope. about. So. Sure don't. So this is, this is an option. You, you can, you can <laughs> stick to your guns here. If you make it through that, if you plan this out where you're going to only eat every three to four hours, then mm -hmm. that gives you some space in between. But interestingly, that's almost only volumetric space because with that kind of a gut load, you yeah. are not going to be digesting and assimilating completely and then end up with an empty stomach. You're going to be just piling food on top of food. Mm -hmm. But that's why, that's why eating in a gluttonous way is hard work. You just, you got to stick to it. <laughs> So what if somebody like Corey is going to very weirdly eat her Thanksgiving meal at dinner time, like five, six, seven o'clock in the evening? That, that happens in some places, apparently in California. 4 p.m. So, so, and I understand with travel and all that. I'm, I'm just kidding. But uh, if you do that, then you're probably going to have to have a normal meal or even two after any workout in the morning to lead up to that. So that's fine. <laughs> Just have another meal. I would recommend, again, a serving of protein, maybe just half a serving of carbohydrates, maybe just fibrous carbohydrate, vegetable, so that you can uh, you know, save that room for, for your big meal. Okay, so here we go. Now we're going to get into what we're going to consume. So check this out, Corey. As a female, how would 50 grams of protein, 150 grams of carbs, and 75 grams of fat sound for you? Super. I'm going to switch some of that fat though for probably protein and carbs. Okay. Which Just because I know what we're going to be fixing and it's not going to be super fatty. Okay. So I think for most women, 
this calorie range, like you said, if, if this was an entire day, think of this for a day. I mean, obviously, let's put a little bit uh, back is, into the protein is. column, but 150 grams of carbs, <laughs> let's say 50 grams of fat, and we'll switch it, and 75 grams of protein, that's almost a day. So you're getting a day's worth of calories in this one meal. That's my day, for sure. Right. Protein and fat different, but totally. But this is just one meal. So for men... I've calculated 75 grams of protein, 250 grams of carbs, and 100 grams of fat for this particular meal. Ooh, this is just one meal. Oh, yeah. Now, here's what's interesting. This is that controversy I talked about. Could I possibly fit 250 grams of carbs in one meal into glycogen stores? New-ish research shows that you really – can I don't know if I trust this because it does fly in the face of some mm -hmm. basic metabolic science. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I believe when blood sugar gets high enough, especially for a sustained amount of time, not only can your liver convert carbs into cholesterol and, and fatty acids and be stored, but even adipose cells, body fat cells, can pull glucose in and convert it into fat right mm -hmm. on the spot. So, so I do think that you are going to have some body fat stored here, maybe not as much on this first meal. A lot of the dietary fat is going to be stored as fat, but this is where, like I said, this is the long game approach. So if I was taking the, I just can't do this approach, I need to have a Thanksgiving meal where I gain no body fat, even for a day. I don't want to feel horribly full. Obviously, mm -hmm. you can just employ flexible dieting techniques and weigh everything, measure it, and you know, take a little bite of this and you can do all that and totally be fine. I don't want this to be completely satirical, but <laughs> if you really want to eat like this, I'm going to show you that in the context of this week, you can do it and emerge totally unscathed. Unscathed. So round two, let's just hit the repeat button. So let's go have the exact same size meal three to four hours later. Could you do that, Corey? Well, I know what my meals are going to look like, so yes, I could. <laughs> oh, great. I, I'm, I'm bringing you to the dark side. No, I mean, you know how I eat, Joe. Everything is a salad. <laughs> 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 I'm going to eat another five ounces of turkey with a bunch of steamed broccoli and a big-ass salad. And you think you can get 150 grams of carbs out of that? That's going to be a bale of hay. That's how good I am. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so for round two, a higher percent of this meal is going to be stored as fat. But remember, you have lost some fat. We've got almost 200 grams of fat for women, 300 grams of fat for men that you banked this week. So you're just refilling some adipose cells with the triglycerides that you've already lost that week. So again, if you don't want to have a maintenance or neutral week, you don't have to do that. But this is a way that you can. Mm -hmm. So round three, <laughs> because it's still pants, you know, unbutton the jeans, you know, sweatpants are, yes. Take a shower yes. if you need to, to get ready for, for round three. No, you don't, you're not going to want to take your clothes off because you're not going to want to look at yourself in the mirror. You just take, yeah, take that blindfold into the bathroom, <laughs> oh, give it to your God. spouse. Okay. So round three, I am lightening up a little bit because I imagine now it's going to be kind of late at night. Football games are coming to an end, and it's like, oh, my gosh, I might as well just finish off these crumbs, this last little piece of pecan pie. Crumbs, 75 carbs. That's crumbs, yeah. folks. <laughs> well, Thanksgiving it is. So this, is, this is where I would be eating what we're uh, – this is the dump cake time. <laughs> and you do feel dumpy afterwards. <laughs> So, so basically cutting in half the meals we did for the first and second rounds, that would be the third round. Now look at the final tally. This is what we started with. This, our energy bank to start the day, women had 400 grams of carbs in the bank. We only consumed 375. They had 195 grams of fat. We consumed 185. Mm -hmm. Men had 575 grams of, of carbs to spend, and they went over a little bit in this scenario, Ooh. 625, you know? Dudes, yeah. are gonna dudes, we're going we're gonna to get that, that little extra there. And then on the fat side, they had 290 to spend. They only spent 250 So then, as I said, all of these meals, some of it's going to be stored as fats. I'm not going to mm -hmm. read all of this here. 
but if you want to be safe, you can play this as having just one meal. Uh, you can, like I said, use, use if it fits your macros, flexible dieting kind of techniques. But if you're going to do this, consider it the week-long process, and you yeah. still, still, at the end of the week, came out almost 200 calories ahead. So you know what that means? What's that mean, Joe? You could have an extra dinner roll. Ooh, yay. Uh, you could get right up to that level. Time. You could get right up there. And then, Corey, you won Thanksgiving. This could be the first time you ever win Thanksgiving. <laughs> I'm a champion. <laughs> we right. can all be champions together. All right. I don't know if I can unshare this. <laughs> Sure. We'll get back get there. So that's it, guys. You have an opportunity that the, the men on that side of, of the scale had up to 5,000 calories. Women had almost 4,000 calories. If you plan this out, you can always end up with any kind of event, any kind of holiday. Plan ahead. Plan the couple days after to mitigate that because, like I said, with some stored body fat, newly stored body fats, and very saturated levels of carbohydrates, you are obviously going to wake up heavier and looking softer and kind of gross. <laughs> and smushy. But if Puffy. you just get right back on track with normal eating and exercise, you will work through that stored glycogen that you just restored. So you're going to lose a lot of water. You're going to immediately start using extra body fat because you're right back into a calorie deficit. So by the time you get to Sunday or so of Thanksgiving weekend, you should be right back to where you were, even with a slight calorie deficit to spare. Where's the alcohol come in? Could be in the uh, in the carbs there. I don't I don't drink on okay. Thanksgiving usually. That's that's not a thing at our house. I don't either, but I know most people do. Oh, really? Okay. Well, you just <laughs> have to you can count those as carbs or fat, but uh, yeah. I would always count them as carbs just by dividing total calories by four. Cool. But, so, Corey, to, to finish up this mini-series, mm -hmm. you're going to help us with those calorie constraints. You just said you could do it. You could show us how to eat a 150-gram carb salad. Hopefully, mm -hmm. you'll throw in some other options. But tomorrow, mm -hmm. just in time for Thanksgiving, we're going to show what these kinds of calorie totals can give you on a plate. Everything is a salad, Joe. Everything is a salad. <laughs> Stuffing, green bean, cat, you throw it all in together, you make it, it ends up there just like that anyway. We're going to lose we're going to lose our entire audience. <laughs> Corey's Thanksgiving salad just back up the dump truck and there's <laughs> But here's the thing. I read that and you mentioned this in the previous podcast 3,000 calories is the average sized meal for someone. Um, at Thanksgiving? At Thanksgiving. Ooh. Yeah, but you're, you're giving them, the, and that's what you're saying a female could do this time. Um, it was the Calorie Council, I think, or something, some organization that said that. But three... Yeah, you know... That would take so much pain and density. That's why I broke it up into two and a half meals, really three. And I, and I honestly yeah. don't think anybody's going to do that. Again, um, you know, humor aside, I <laughs> think if, if anybody ate two meals like that and, and they were even a little bit smaller, I think that would be the norm for somebody who actually cares. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. But if you, uh, if you are really, if you're that um, into food, I don't think... This, this is going to help you because you probably eat beyond like this. All the time. <laughs> and if you're just that depleted and hungry and have been restricting that long to the point that it needs to get there, in all seriousness, we're dealing with bigger issues, guys. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if, if you look at what I scheduled out for guys, 75 grams of protein, 250 grams of carbs, and 100 grams of fat in one meal, and then mm -hmm. I did that a second time and then half that for the third, I mean, I mean, seriously, like just one of those meals, those big meals, that's probably more than I will eat for the entire Thanksgiving. Right. I mean, it, it just truly is. So. Uh, I don't have to ha carry that much of an energy bank into it to spend because I'm just not going to spend that much. But I, I did want to pick some pretty extreme examples and something <laughs> to our culture just to show it can be done, but sure. you really won't have to go quite that far. Cool. Okay. So 
in the next episode, I'm going to break down the calories, break down the servings, and give you guys some ideas for how you might create a meal that's just as tasty, but maybe not quite as calorie dense. I'll help you guys out. We'll get <laughs> There will be broccoli on the menu. I'll, I'll be talking density while you're talking. <laughs> I, got, I got your back, everybody. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. We've got one more episode in this mini series, and then we hope you have an amazing Thanksgiving with loved ones. Hope you have somebody to share that with. If not, reach out. Uh, I've seen some really cool mm -hmm. things on social media where people have, are just asking their social media families at large. You know, hey, if anybody's not, you know, going anywhere, mm -hmm. you don't have anybody to spend it with, come, come to us. We're doing that. We have a friend who doesn't have any uh, family local, so we're we're bringing him in under our wing. So I hope you guys do the same and we're going to catch you tomorrow. Awesome. Thank you.